bago natin pag-usapan yung feature natin ng motor ngayon, eh meron muna tayong announcement. So sa lahat ng motor ni One Top fans sa Facebook, eh pinapaagam ko sa inyo na kasagin na kayo sa online raffle natin in which you can win Unang tanong natin lahat eh, magkano nga ba tong motor na to? Oh, 45,000, napakamura niyan. What's up mga brother? Ito si Juan ng Motor ni Juan and welcome back sa channel natin. Siyempre, bago tayo mag-start, shoutout muna sa Juan Gayak for any Pinoy-themed apparel and gears. Visit nyo lang yung Facebook page na yan. At saka syempre, huge shoutout sa G4 Sticker Works na napakagapit for any decals needs. Bago natin pag-usapan yung i-feature natin ng motor ngayon, eh meron muna tayong announcement. So sa lahat ng motor ni One Top Fans sa Facebook, eh pinapaagam ko sa inyo na kasagin na kayo sa online raffle natin in which you can win isa sa mga full sublimation motor ni One Shirt, katulad na tong isang to, and a couple of consolation prizes. Eh, sa mga brother natin na hindi pa top fan sa Facebook page ni Motor ni Juan, all you have to do is follow Motor ni Juan sa Facebook. Be sure that you like and share and comment sa kahit na anong Facebook post ni Motor ni Juan. The more you like, the more you comment, the more you share, then the faster you will earn the top fan badge. Once you earn the top fan badge, brother, eh, kasama ka na automatic sa pag-giveaway natin. You will have two weeks to do it kasi ipaparaffle na natin kaagad to first weekend ng January. Again, Follow Motor ni Juan, like, comment, and share sa kahit na anong Facebook page ng Motor ni Juan. Mas frequent, mas marami kayong activity sa Facebook ni Motor ni Juan. Mas madali nyo more earn yung top badge nyo. Good luck! Sobrang naging maputok ang Suzuki Bergman in the recent months. And until now, marami pa rin talaga nagahanap dito. Bakit? Because you will get that maxi scoot feeling ng hindi kagagasos ng ganun kamahal. Kung titingnan mo yung price point ni Bergman at 76,900 pesos, eh wala ka rin talaga makikita na katulad niya na malaki, maraming features, and again, maxi scoot yung style. O, wala nga ba? Pasok, Yamaha Ray ZR125. In terms of the looks, bulky itong motor na to. Big body ika nga. If we're going to compare the dimensions kay Bergman, eh, halos magkasing laki itong motor na to. Pero slightly mas malapad si Yamaha Ray R or Razor. Parang stealthy na tanke ang dating ng motor na to. Noticeable din ang forma ng air cowling na located sa harap niya. That really adds definition dun sa looks. Meron na rin tong built-in handguard. You will also have the Yamaha daytime running lights na ito talaga nakalogo pa ni Yamaha pero pagdating sa headlight niya halogen pa rin ang ilaw instead of having LED you would have that spacious leg room o kung tawagin natin mga Pinoy ay gulay board na talagang gamit na gamit natin because it adds extra space for our baggages you would also have that small windshield and take note ang weight na itong mga brother is 99 kilograms. Magaan to para sa build niya. If we're again, if we're going to compare to the Bergman, ang Bergman kasi is nasa 110 kilograms. So magaan to, pero hindi hagata sa looks niya. This scooter has a sporty feel into it, pero hindi ganun ka-aggressive yung itsura niya. Meron lang siyang minimalist decals, and then combined neutral colors like black or gray together with the primary color na binibida ng motor na yan. Pagdating naman sa puso ng motor na to, or yung engine niya, You will have 125cc engine displacement, 4-stroke, single overhead cam, 2-valve air-cooled, and fuel injected. Take note kasi mga brad na ang former version ng Yamaha Razor is carb type pa. So this is the first year that they are launching the FI version for this model. It will give you 8.2 PS worth of horsepower at 9.7 Newton meters worth of torque naman. Since we're talking about power, I want to take note again that this scooter only weighs 99 kilograms. Kumbaga, lamang lang ng konti sa Honda Beat, pero this is already 125 cc. So that will definitely result to a better acceleration and better power output dahil hindi siya ganun kabigat. How does it compare against the Suzuki Bergman Street that we already have in the Philippines? Ito yun.
Punta naman tayo sa gulong tsaka sa suspension nito. In front, you will have 90-90 by 12 tires and meron ka namang telescopic fork habang sa likod naman, eh magkakaroon ka ng mas malaki-laking gulong as compared to the Suzuki Bergman because you will have 110 over 90 by 10 with the unit swing suspension. Mas makapal na gulong and kung mapapansin natin yung ginyaha ng gulong ng motor na to is its block tires or semi-block tires that means na mas magiging makapit to and dependable especially on uneven roads. Pero hindi porke we're seeing block tires sa gulong neto or sa goma neto, eh pwede mo nang iharabas to off-road. Because again, it only has a telescopic fork, hindi masyadong malayo yung distance niya from the fairings dun sa suspension. And for the unit swing suspension naman, just the normal out of what we see in most scooters. Pagdating naman sa brakes mga brad, what we have at the rear is drum brake. And meron din siyang variant na disc brake sa harap. We will have what we call the UBS or Unified Braking System. Wherein, once you press the rear brake too much or biglaan is that what the scooter will do is it will distribute the weight sa both front at saka rear brake mo to add dependability on the stopping power at saka mas iwas kid kasi hindi masyadong mapofocus yung pagbrake sa isang part ng gulong. This is similar to the combi brake system ng Honda at combined braking system naman ng Suzuki. Hindi masyadong marami yung features ng motor na to pero it has enough for its market. You will have a 21 liter under seat storage some full face helmet magkakasya dyan pero definitely yung half face kasha. You will also have a fully digital dashboard. Very basic ang itsura niya parang yung sa Yamaha Gravis. You will also have the smart motor generator na kumbaga quiet na lang or tahimik lang yung pag-start mo ng engine. You will have a side stand engine cut off. At ang start stop system na mechanism din naman ng Yamaha para makatipid ka sa gas because it automatically shuts down your scooter after a few seconds of being idle like for example na traffic ka or nasa stoplight ka and then all you have to do when you want to activate your scooter again magsasrotter ka lang, magsisigin yung door ka lang and you'll be on your way without having to restart your motorcycle all over again Unang tanong natin lahat eh, magkano nga ba tong motor na to? Oo, formado, oo, mukhang okay pero magkano nga ba? Pasok nga ba sa budget to? Ang top variant ng motor na to in India is priced at 74,330 Indian rupees. If we're going to use direct conversion into Philippine peso, it will only convert to 45,550 pesos. 45,000, napakamura niyan. Pero wag muna tayong ma-excite kasi hindi yan ang magiging presyo pagdating dito sa Pilipinas. If dadating na nga ba siya. Unang-una, the motorcycle was manufactured in India whatever was released in India, kaya we cannot expect for the motorcycle cost to be directly converted into the Philippines. Now, ano ba yung tansya natin or yung estimate price once this launches here in our country? Given the market competition, the geographic location, and possible production costs, we are estimating this motorcycle to be somewhere around 70,000. Kung ito ay magkakaroon ng presyo ng around 70,000, kahit sabihin pa natin na 76,000 which is equivalent to that of the Bergman, then masasabi natin na talagang magko-compete itong dalawang motor na to. What's good is good for us sa Filipinos and good for us bilang consumers kasi mas magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng choices. Susunod na tanong, Brad, okay yung motor? Okay nga, mukhang mura nga pag nirigis dito sa Pilipinas. E ang tanong, maririgis nga ba sa Pilipinas? To clarify mga brad, Yamaha doesn't have any official statement as to when and if this motorcycle will be released in the Philippines. But given the trend on how the previous scooters were launched, ibig sabihin kailan siya initial na ni-launch sa ibang Southeast Asian countries at kailan siya dumating dito sa atin, usually there's a, there's a gap of about 9 months. But given the pandemic, we can bump it up to about one year. Itong Yamaha Razr 125 was launched in Feb of 2020. So it is possible that we will have a version here in the Philippines probably first or second quarter of 2021. Again mga brad, that is just my humble and non-expert opinion based on previous trends, previous launches ng mga motor ng Yamaha and how it was launched sa Philippines. So tingnan natin, but definitely I will update you guys kung meron tayong bagita at update tungkol sa motor na yan. Kaya dapat, you should always like and share this video, mag-subscribe ka para hindi ka mahuli sa mga bagita, and hit that notification bell so that you are always updated sa mga updates, tips, and reviews na meron tayo. Again, don't forget to follow our Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash motorniwan para mas marami kang updates na makuha at yung mga pag-giveaway natin madalas is sa Facebook natin na po-post. So again mga brad, I'll definitely keep you posted kaya antabay lang kayo sa channel na to. Bago natin tapusin itong video na to, 
Siyempre, shoutout muna tayo. Siyempre, unahin na natin sa shoutout si Brian Arevigo Endozo at saka sa Chengs22 Online Shop. Again, maraming maraming salamat sa padagan yung shoes sa amin. Check out nyo yung page nila mga brother. Shoutout din kay Rogando Authentico from Saudi Arabia. Ayan, uh, salute sa inyo dyan mga bossing. Ingat kayo dyan. Shoutout din kay Japox TV. Hashtag ORC Riders from Bicol. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat sa pagsuporta. Shoutout Dion Carlo Hernandez. Santos Kugarat kay Chris Santos. Yan, as always, brother, shoutout. Lawrence Neri, congratulations dahil nanago ka dun sa huling giveaway natin. PJ Tugentino. Tsaka syempre, Motolab27. Tsaka kay On The Spot Moto Rides. Yan, shoutout sa inyong dalawa. All the way from Jensan. Jensan. Jensan, shoutout Moto GP Vlog. Shoutout din kay Tour Jack. Yan, shoutout, brother. Meron pa si Gabag Domero, Edmund Olea, Gamer Zone, John Lowy Perez, at sa inyong lahat na laging sumusuporta at nanonood sa mga videos ng Motor Niwan. Maraming maraming salamat mga brother. Again, marami pa tayong contents and videos for you. Abangan nyo yung ating mga reviews, news, and updates. Kaya dapat antabay lang kayo sa channel na to. Kita-kits ulit tayo sa susunod na video natin. Salute!